Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is all about that perfect red lip that stays put all day. So I'll be walking you through my top picks for products for red lips, and then I'll also show you the technique I use to get this red lip right here. Before we jump into the tutorial, I want to say a special welcome to anyone who's new to my channel. If you enjoy this video today, I would love it if you would subscribe before you go. And now let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, and before we jump into the red lip tutorial, I did just want to mention that this eye look is up on my channel already. So I'll link that up in the corner if you're curious how I got this look. And then all of the other products on my face today are listed in the description box down below in case you're curious. Alrighty, on to what you're here for today, the red lip. Typically with these kind of like makeup basics videos that I create, I try to show techniques and tips and tricks that will work with any product you already own. So for example, if I'm doing an eyeshadow tutorial, I'll talk about picking, you know, a mid-tone shade, a dark shade, and a shimmer shade or whatever out of the palettes you already have in your collection at home. I want it to be more about technique and finding ways for you to make the makeup you already own work for you. So this one steps a little outside of kind of that classic approach that I take with these makeup basics videos because I am going to be recommending at least one very specific product. I am only incorporating two products in this whole video today and one of them is one where I think you could pick kind of anything along the same vein and then the other one is a very specific product that I recommend for red lips for anyone because it is a foolproof product and I have never found something that works as well as this does for a red lip that stays put through anything. So the two things I'm going to be using today are a red lip liner. Mine happens to be from Essence. It's the Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. It's waterproof and it's in the shade You and Me Ship. So I do recommend this lip liner, but I think you can use any red lip liner out there and it will probably work just fine. And the second product and the one that I recommend this exact product is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick from Ofra. I have the shade Atlantic City and for me, this is a perfect red. It's a blue-based red, which will make your teeth look really nice and white. And on my pale skin, it's very flattering. And I love this shade in particular because it's just slightly deeper than maybe like your average red lipstick. However, Ofra has this formula in a ton of different colors. And if you see a different red that you think would be better for your skin tone, absolutely get a different shade. The main thing I'm trying to kind of hone in on here is that this formula is really the key to success for me. I went ahead and just swatched both of these for you. So this is You and Me Ship in that lip liner from Essence, and this is Atlantic City from Ofra. So step one here is to line your lips with that lip liner. This one from Essence is one where you just twist it up to get more product, but if you have one where you have to manually sharpen it, you'll just wanna make sure it has a nice sharp edge. I barely apply any pressure when I'm doing my lip liner. If I wanna make it deeper, I can always go back and go over it a couple more times, but I like to keep a nice steady hand and just barely apply the pigment. You also probably saw on this side, I drag it down and then I flick in a little bit and that creates kind of an awkward little mark on my lip, but that's okay because that's gonna be covered up by my red lipstick. And I'd rather, when I'm picking my uh, lip liner up, I'd rather pick it up and lean in when I pick it up than out because I don't wanna get red like over here on my face. <laughs>
So once you're looking goofy like this, it's time to go in with that liquid lipstick. And the reason that it's so important to really make sure you have your lip lines how you want them is because it will make it super, super quick and easy to just fill in the center with this product rather than trying to get this little doe foot applicator here like perfectly along the lines of your lips. You can just fill in and it makes it super, super easy. Once I've applied what I think is enough, I always move my mouth around in a few different kind of weird ways to make sure I didn't miss any gaps. So one that I always do is just smile with my lips closed. And you can see that I need to put a little bit more a little further in because otherwise every time I smile like that, there's gonna be you know my natural lip color showing through. And that's it. I love this particular liquid lipstick from Ofra because it has the staying power of a liquid lipstick, which means it won't go outside your lip lines. It won't kind of spread and migrate as you eat or as you talk. It won't transfer onto your teeth. But even though it's a liquid lipstick and it has that incredible staying power, it doesn't feel dry and crusty on my lips. So if you've ever had a bad experience with a different matte liquid lipstick, try out this formula because it stays put so, so well, but it never makes my lips feel dry and it never settles into my lip lines. You can see I have fairly pronounced lip lines and because it's matte, it's not gonna take those away or make them look less pronounced, but it's also not going to settle into them and create like dry, cracked looking lips. The bottom line, this technique could probably be used as well with any red lipstick you own, but I'm only willing to say that this formula from Ofra will stay all day and look this good the whole time you're wearing it. I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did, I would love if you would give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to let me know what your favorite red lipstick is, because I'm always on the hunt for amazing red lipsticks in different formulas to suit everyone's different needs. So let me know what your favorite is, or if you try this out or choose to purchase the Ofra, let me know as well. I would love to hear your experiences with it and if it works as well for you as it does for me. And lastly, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe before you go today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.